So we have been to over 96 schools in the whole of Ghana, going through the 16 regions, and we are bringing you the best of the best in the Zone D competition. Joining us in the kitchen, we have Akumadan SHS, all the way from Ashanti region. Good. We have a Palm SHS all the way from the central region of Ghana. <laughs> Damango SHS. <laughs> Bolga Girls SHS. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big round of applause. And last but definitely not the least, Chemu SHS right here in the Great Alka region. <laughs> Aunt Lily, are you ready? I am ready. Take us away. Contestants, are you ready? Yes, mm. madam. Are you ready? Yes. 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 All right, so we move straight to the quiz. And my first question goes to Akumadan Senior High School. Please listen attentively. I'll read the question twice, same as the options. I won't repeat it again. So listen attentively. Akuma Dan Senior High School, my first question goes to you. Why are slits made on top of pie crust? Why are slits made on top of pie crust? A. To make the crust golden brown. B. To decorate the crust. C. To allow steam to escape. And D, to keep the crust from spitting over. I take the options again. A, to make the crust golden brown. B, to decorate the crust. C, to allow steam to escape. And D, to keep the crust from spitting open. A, to make a, to make a crust to become a golden brown. You have another chance. And remember, you have a minute to answer Round one questions. C. What is a C? To make. All right. The answer is C. I give it to you. Okay. All right. My second question goes to Apam Senior High School. Listen attentively, all contestants, because you might not know. Maybe it will come to you as a bonus, and you'll be fumbling. So please, listen attentively. At Palm Senior High School, you pick the second question in round one. When cooking with milk, cuddling can be prevented by... When cooking with milk, cuddling can be prevented by... A. Cooking at low temperature. B. Stirring occasionally. C. Thickening milk with flour. D. Covering milk during cooking. Stirring milk occasionally. You have another chance. Cooking milk on low temperature. Exactly the answer. You cook it at a very low temperature, else it will kettle. Damango Senior High School. When preparing mayonnaise, when preparing mayonnaise, cuddling can be prevented by. When preparing mayonnaise, cuddling can be prevented by A. Adding a tapid water. B. Stirring occasionally. C. Thickening with flour. And D. Cook at a high temperature. I take the options again. A, adding a tapid water, B, stirring occasionally, C, thickening with flour, and D, cook at a high temperature. Let me just see. C, stirring occasionally. You have another chance. Uh -huh. A, adding water occasionally. Boga Tanga Girls Senior High School. Boga Girls Senior High School. You say you don't want the tanga. Tanga. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. So it's Bulga Girls. Bulga Girls Senior High School. 
If you say Bulgatanga, it's another school. All right. So you are Bulga girls. Yes. Are you Bulga girls? Yes, yes, we are. The next question goes to you. An old egg becomes less valuable in calories and lighter because... An old egg becomes less valuable in calories and lighter because A. The egg is porous. B. It has a natural layer of varnish. C. Phosphorus acid is present. D. Moisture has been lost and replaced with A. I take the options again. A. The egg is porous. B. It has a natural layer of varnish. C, phosphorus, phosphoric acid is present, and D, moisture has been lost and replaced with A. B, moisture has been lost and replaced. Moisture has been lost. <laughs> so it becomes light. It becomes light. Temu Senior High Technical School. To keep green beans from turning green, greenish brown during cooking to keep green beans from turning greenish brown during cooking what do you have to do a add lemon juice to the cooking time b add salt to the cooking water c soak them in water first d keep the cooking time short I take the options again. A, add lemon juice to the cooking time. B, add salt to the cooking water. C, soak them in water first. And D, keep the cooking time short. Soak them in water first. You have another chance. Add salt to... Add salt to cooking water. A bonus to Akumadan Senior High School. Keep in the water before cooking. I'm sorry, the right answer is keep the cooking time short. Keep the cooking time short. This brings us to the end of round one. At the end of round one, Akuma Dan Senior High School had 12 points. <laughs> Apam Senior High School had 24 points. <laughs> Damango Senior High School had 12 points. <laughs> Borga Girl Senior High School had 12 points. And Chemu Senior High Technical School had 18 points. <laughs> Contestants, are you ready for the round two of the quiz? Listen attentively. These questions are not transferable. And you have 30 seconds to answer the question. Relax, listen, and come up with the right option. Okay? Right. My first question goes to Akumadan, senior high school. Two egg yolks. Two egg yolks used in preparation of mayonnaise will need 250 ml of oil. Two egg yolks Use in preparation of mayonnaise will need 250 ml of oil. True or false? Hmm. Hmm. Mayonnaise. Hmm. My mayonnaise. Hmm. Hmm. Say true. True. Speak into the microphone. True. It is very true. <laughs> It's true. Apam Senior High School. Mustard. Mustard is not used in the preparation of a French dressing. 
mustard is not used in the preparation of a French dressing. True or false? False. Mm. It is false. <laughs> it's a key ingredient, so it's false. Damango Senior High School. Oil is the key ingredient in the preparation of vinaigrette. Oil is the key ingredient in the preparation of vinaigrette. True or false? False. False. My darling, it is very true. It's true. Vinaigrette. It's true. Burger Girl Senior High School. Onions. Onions are optional when it comes to the preparation of a coleslaw. Onions are optional when it comes to the preparation of a coleslaw. True or false? True. It's true. It's true. Normally, when we are preparing it, we, we shred the cabbage, then the carrots, then we add the onions. The, but the onions are optional. You can decide not to add or not. Please, my audience, I can hear true, I can hear false. The school, if I, I, as I give a question to a school and I hear true or false, I will cancel that question and that school will lose. So please, my audience, let's allow the contestants to speak. I beg you. Chemu Senior High Technical School. Your first question in round one. For good results, when whisking egg and sugar, sit it on a bowl of hot water. For a good result, when whisking egg and sugar, set it on a bowl of hot water. True or false? True. It's true. It's true. You sit the bowl on the water, and it will help the whisking move very fast. This brings us to the end of round two. At the end of round two, Akuma Dan Senior High School had six points. <laughs> Apam Senior High School had 15 points. <laughs> Damango Senior High School had six points. <laughs> Boga Girl Senior High School had nine points. <laughs> and Temu Senior High Technical School had 12 points. Contestants, I hope you are ready for the problem of the day. Yes. This is the last zone, and you are going to write the problem of the day. Please listen attentively and write. Chef John. Chef John. The head chef of Bank of Ghana, Chef John, the head chef of Bank of Ghana, reported to the hospital with general body weakness. Chef John, the head chef of Bank of Ghana, reported to the hospital with general body weakness. Upon assessment by the doctor, his weight and height, upon assessment by the doctor, his weight and height were 68 kilograms, 
and 165 centimeters, respectively. His weight and height were 68 kilograms and 165 centimeters, respectively. We move to the question A. Calculate the BMI of Chef John. And B. Interpret his BMI using the World Health Organization classification. A. Calculate the BMI of Chef John. And B. Interpret his BMI using the World Health Organization classification. Contestants, you have 10 minutes and your time starts now. Stop work. Let's clap for them. Well, so Aunt Lily, we are moving straight to the hot kitchen. Tell us, I know I had some breakfasty question earlier, and I know breakfast being the most important meal of the day, you will tell us more about what they will be required to do this morning. Okay, thank you, Angie. All right. Yes, as you said, it's a breakfast question. And the contestants are to prepare, cook, and serve the breakfast or an ultimate healthy breakfast to their auntie who owns a supermarket. So it's a breakfast, but the breakfast is specifically going to their auntie who owns a supermarket. Um, the various schools were given specific ingredients to use, the key ingredients to use. So they know the various ingredients, and I think they've prepared accordingly. So that is what they are doing for All today. All right, so our contestants are tasked to prepare their ultimate healthy breakfast yeah. for their auntie who owns a supermarket. Yeah. I can't wait to see what they will whip up. And they have an R, right? Exactly. They have an R. The very first part of the competition I am summed up to 50 marks and this part of the competition will also be 50 marks and then we'll see which school is going to win the very last spot in the national competition remember my name is angela abinerji our program is proudly brought to you by ghana education service in collaboration with pmc media and sponsored by ghana's favorite season onga mama's helping hand e -le -le. E -le -le -e. so um mr timer Please give us an hour on the clock. Your time begins now. Let's start cooking.
Three minutes to go. All of them. All teaspoons. What implies is that your workstation should be cleaned, ready to do your presentation and out of your table. So you are doing three things. So let's go five, four, three, two. Okay, everyone freeze. Let's give them a big round of applause. You've got a porridge here as well, which looks good. All right? Something in there. What is that? Onga chicken. And I beg you, leave it for me, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. You can clear the table. Chemo! Yeah. <laughs> is it Bulgar girls? Yeah. Are you guys sure? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'll go straight, 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 straight to Auntie Lily. Okay, Angie, yes. straight to the point. No bend, no curve. Remember, it's the theory aspect and the practical aspect. Some did well in the theory. Others also did very well in the practicals. But remember, in home economics, we put the two together and you are there. So, I'll move straight. With 47... Seven percent. The fifth position goes to Damango. <laughs> Damango Senior High School. <laughs> okay. Wait, five zero point five. Five zero point five. The fourth position goes to Akomadan. Akomadan. This is the part I don't like, eh? With 63, I must be honest, this competition, the marks are... With 63%, the third position goes to Bulga Girls. Bulga girls. Is it Chemu? Is it Apam? Yes! So, with 87. 87%. The first position goes to Apa. Apa. Hello. And with 64. 64%, the second position goes to Aho's Tim Senior High Technical School. Thank you Thank so you. much, Angelina. Thank you so much. Let's give it up for them. I want a pump to join me. Come here. No, let's do it better for these ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah, guys yeah. feeling okay yeah. now? Yeah, are you feeling okay great. now? You are feeling okay now? Manuela, are you feeling okay now? All right. So this is the last school to make it to the national competition, and I am so proud of them. I think out of the, out of the five, four competitions that we've had, this school is the school that has gotten the, the biggest mark 
Am I lying? Yeah. That, and it's amazing. It's amazing the gap they've given. Let's give them a big round. You can go back to your seat. Thank you. Now, to all the schools that didn't make it, I am sorry, but like Frank mentioned, your failures are all part of your success story. And I can't wait to see you next time in the horse kitchen. Remember that this was the fifth edition of the Onga Cook Hearts competition. My name is Angela Abinaje. Our show was proudly brought to you by Ghana Education Service in collaboration with PNC Media and sponsored by Onga. Mama's helping hand in the lady. See you next time on your screen. Bye bye.